This time last year, State Representative Robert Goforth was challenging incumbent Republican Governor Matt Bevin for his job. Today, the 44-year-old is accused of trying to strangle his wife during an argument early this morning. LEX-18's Lee Searcy has the story from Laurel County. Sheriff's deputies say the allegations stem from an incident here at State Representative Robert Goforth's Laurel County home around 1.30 this morning. According to his arrest citation, a woman showed up at the dispatch center with visible marks on her forehead, neck, and arms. The woman, his wife, named on the citation, says Goforth tried to hogtie her. She says he grabbed an Ethernet cable from the kitchen drawer, then with her face down towards the ground, began strangling her to the point she states she had difficulty breathing and thought she was going to pass out. A neighbor two houses down told us she's never seen or heard problems at the home in the past. It's a surprise because, you know, him being a representative figure and stuff, you don't really expect that from people like that. According to this arrest citation, Goforth's wife told authorities that the fight started over a cell phone. She says he finally let her leave the house when she promised to unlock the phone. Investigators say three children were at home at the time but were not hurt. Goforth was arrested and charged with first degree strangulation, assault fourth, domestic violence and terroristic threatening. As a lawmaker, he voted for a bill in 2018 that made strangulation a felony. Today, he bonded out of jail after paying a $25,000 cash bond. He's scheduled to be arraigned on June 4th. Goforth declined our request for an interview. In Laurel County, Lee Searcy, LEX 18 News.